Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another creature comparison. I'd gotten a request from Simon J to compare the African penguin and the Magellanic penguin. All right, Simon, this one's for you, my friend. And so I reiterate, two birds of a feather should flock together, even if they can't fly. Let's begin. As always, we start with our similarities. African and Magellanic penguins have very similar colorings in their plumage and face. They're black and white with black stripes across their chest and pink patches next to their eyes. Like all other penguin species, these two can't fly, but they are very adept swimmers and they push themselves through the water with their flippers. And like marine mammals, penguins have blubber under their skin that helps them keep warm in the water. And these two species eat the same types of foods. Both African and Magellanic penguins eat small fish like sardines and anchovies and cephalopods like squid. And again, just like many other penguin species, both Magellanic and African penguins gather in large rookeries and they make their nests in holes in the ground. These two species mate for life and both parents help to rear the chick. Sadly though, both of these species are threatened by climate change, overfishing of their food by humans, and by pollution. The African penguin is listed as endangered, while the Magellanic penguin is listed as near threatened. Now then, let's talk about the differences. First up, their ranges. True to its name, the African penguin lives on the coasts of southwestern Africa, mostly Namibia and South Africa. By contrast, the Magellanic penguin lives on the southern coasts of Argentina and on the Falkland Islands. In terms of their sizes, a fully grown Magellanic penguin is two to two and a half feet long and weighs six to 14 pounds. The African penguin on the other flipper is about 18 inches long and weighs 6.8 pounds. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the African penguin and the Magellanic penguin. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? Alright, here we go. Ah! Well, the next one's going to be a remake, and I'm going to let the outro music give you clues to what it is. Got the lion symbol?